Have you ever wondered if you have to be baptized in order to be saved? Has anybody approached you saying that, hey, you may have lived your life in the fear of the Lord, but you still may go to hell if you die because you didn't get baptized? If that is you, stick around. If you believe that, please stick around. That's a diagnosed error. And it's time that we distribute the truth that the doctor prescribes. I'm Jamal Banyan. This is Prescribed Truth, where we distribute the truth that the doctor prescribed. All through time, I've heard so many people say that you have to be baptized in order to be saved. And a proof text that they always go to is Acts 2.38. It talks about how the people that Peter was speaking to were pricked in the heart. And they asked Peter the question, what must we do to be saved? And Peter's response, repent and be baptized for the forgiveness of your sins. And I may paraphrase that, but you can look it up. Acts 2, 37 to 38. Acts 10, 44. Peter is speaking again, this time to some Gentiles. You know, and these Gentiles, after, as they was hearing the message of the gospel preached, the Bible declares to us that the Holy Spirit came upon them. And they began speaking in tongues and exalting God. Now that's around verse 44. You can look that up as well. So in Acts 10, it says the Holy Spirit fell upon them and they began to speak in tongues and exalt God. And then Peter asked the question, who will refuse these people from being baptized? It seems to me that Peter also knew that they had the Holy Spirit and were indeed saved. And then said, hey, they should be baptized. But was the baptizing making them saved or were they already saved before the baptism? Now, if they were saved before the baptism, when the Holy Spirit came upon them, then baptism isn't necessary for salvation. But if they aren't saved when the Holy Spirit came upon them, then we have a problem. Now, that's a question. See, the main thing is, is baptism necessary for salvation? If we go to Acts 10, we're going to see that in this case, it's not. What were they doing? After the Holy Spirit was poured on them, they were exalting God. Tell me, according to the scriptures in the New Testament, can unbelievers exalt God? The scriptures tells us that no one seeks for God and, and, and no one can please God in the flesh. Exalting God is pleasing God, but the Bible says we can't please him in the flesh. The Bible says they were speaking in tongues. When were the tongues introduced? It was introduced in Acts 2. And we see that this was something, this was a gift that was given only to who? The believers. It wasn't given to any unbelievers. Only to the believers. The believers who was at Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came upon all of them, and they spoke in tongues. So, over here in Acts 10, after Peter then said what he said in Acts 2.38, we see that these people were saved before being baptized. Now we see that baptism is important. Baptism is a covenant sign of our relationship with Christ. That any believer who is in Christ should want to be baptized. I want to identify with Christ. I've died with him and I will be raised with him. And baptism is a symbol of that. But to say that it's necessary for salvation, it's a little too far people, just a little too far. So remember, that it's not about the works you do that gets you saved, but it's our faith in Christ that we're saved by. We're saved by faith alone. So if this video has been helpful for you, please subscribe, please share it, and please like it. And I'll show appreciate it. Hey, if you disagree, it's all right. Please hit me up, leave a comment. Let's discuss it. I'm open to it. Remember, in a world full of errors, the only thing a doctor prescribes is truth.